So who's the perfect buyer for a home like this? Um, it's, in, it's in desperate need of a family, yeah. I would think. Um, the front of this house, the whole west side of this house, is fit for either um, a happy couple that has their family coming to visit, that has people that they want to entertain mm. and you know, plenty of rooms. And, but the ideal home, I would say, um, I, to make it a homestead, yeah. you want the kiddies, the running, kiddies around. running around. Yeah. I'm Sean Senior, I'm the contractor and project manager for this build at 329 Allo Drive and I'm the sole director of Prime Aerial uh, PTY Limited. Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Mbuelo here with Luxury Home South Africa. Today we invite you to tour one of Blair Athol's most exceptional properties, nestled within the sought of the estate. This luxury home defines elegance and sophistication. This home is currently on the market for 30 million rand, with five lavish bedrooms, six and a half exquisite bathrooms, and a stand spanning over 3,500 square meters and just over 800 square meters under roof. This home is a testament of grandeur and opulence. Every detail has been meticulously crafted to perfection. So, without further ado, let's get started. Apart from the sort of barn style uh, main uh, living area of the house, the, the rest of the house is, is quite modern. Yeah. Um, this would have a little bit of a country feel to it, but yeah. if you look around, the rest of the house is it's quite modern. Quite modern, yeah. Modern finishes, uh, modern fittings and fixtures. Yeah. We've uh, created a, a custom paint uh, for this house oh, and okay. um, it's, it's tried and tested. Although we've never used it prior to this build, yeah. we've used um, the brand and the, and, the, and the type of paint. And the light obviously brings that modern feel okay. out yeah. and brings contrast to the fittings and fixtures. Yeah. Welcome to the grand entrance of this property. As you enter, you have this lovely pivot door with beautiful craftsmanship right in front of it, you have the herringbone design that matches beautifully with these oak floors below. So as you look up to the ceiling, you have the du double volume entrance. We have a beautiful ex exposed beams above, uh, beautiful modern fixtures, lighting fixtures. And then of course we have this beautiful transparent glass that brings light from the north side and the south side. So as we continue with the grand entrance, on my left hand side we have a double car garage and on my right hand side we have another double car garage so basically you can have four cars on this property and on this side we have a beautiful powder room which has beautiful mobile slab right here beautiful vanities we have the modern tiles here that were handcraft made so as we leave the entryway as you come into the property, you are welcome to this beautiful courtyard. So as you walk into the courtyard, the first thing you notice is the tree of life. We'd like to think that we centered the homestead around um, the natural center of the house, which as you can see behind us is uh, we, we focused on, on bringing the nature into the house, which we've got a natural pool. Um, which is as a biofilter, it's filtered the water, it's filtered by the plants mm. and um, the centre courtyard brings nature and light into, into the, the surrounding portions of the house. Oh, so. the house. so as we leave the outdoor courtyard, 
uh, we enter into the main living space of this house. You have a beautiful ceramic imported tile on this side and it transitions onto this herringbone wood oak that you have on this side, which blends beautifully in this property. Again, we have the stunning uh, high double volume ceilings. We have really lovely furniture on this side, beautiful wood that complements the space. Um, we have west facing views on this side, uh, which are phenomenal. And then on this side, we have a double fireplace um, to keep both sides of the space warm. And adding on to this double fireplace, we have this gorgeous um, Italian marble here with this black finish as well, this black cladding. And um, as you continue into this space, on this side we have a wall sconce that actually lights up this beautiful art piece that we have right here. And then of course we have this wooden console on this side. Continuing with this space, gorgeous carpet on this side, a 10-seater dining table so you can definitely host beautiful events and then of course we have a wine rack on this side that complements beautifully with the cabinetry we've got little bronze finishes here uh, a beautiful backsplash so this in essence is a beautiful dry bar you know if you want to host some events you can basically just grab a few drinks here and host your guests and the most eye-catching feature about this space are these beautiful suspended lights custom made lights um, which complement the space beautifully and i think the developer did a good job by adding these in um, that sense of harmony and it's it fits in well with the space but the most beautiful part of this entire house must be this kitchen uh, you have a beautiful countertop here center island uh, finished with this nice caesar stone slab you have the bronze inslets right there you have a breakfast nook here with four bar stools as well uh, you have an integrated um, kitchen sink with a bronze finished faucet you have cabinetry on this side and going on to this side you have lovely wooden slits on there uh, more cabinetry you have the integrated kitchen burners with as well as a smeg oven and then as well you have the extractor that has been cladded with a beautiful bronze that really adds um, you know taste to the space as well you have a backsplash in the same uh, caesar stone and if we come onto the side of the kitchen you have more of a different contrast right now you have the inslets as well you have um, backsplash of the same caesar stone and you have this natural wood finish um, basically on the integrated appliances. So this side you have a coffee machine, microwave. This side you have a built-in fridge, double freezer, still brand new. Everything in this house is still brand new. And then of course this side you have the wine cooler. And leading out of this space, we are going into the scullery pantry area. And on this side we have double appliances right here. Uh, washing machine dryer this side you have a, another appliance as well you have a double sink with cabinetry same wooden finishes as before and then on this side you have the big pantry with plenty of cupboard space um, or shelves to to put your items in So leaving the scullery area and this beautiful kitchen, uh, we are entering into the outdoor patio or the entertainment area more. Uh, before we get there, of course, we have these double glazed aluminum um, pocket doors that literally go into the walls. And then when we step into this space, you have lovely furniture around, uh, some bar stools. We have the same uh, clad that we saw at the double fireplace on that side the same natural wood that we saw in the kitchen that continues onto this side and then we have the same sort of uh, bronze um, tap finish from the kitchen as well you have additional space to add a little mini fridge and then on this side we have a gas and coal burner bry area uh, that is beautifully cladded around with a naturally made tile when we continue we have a, again a 10 seater dining table um, so this is a lovely space to entertain uh, coming on to this part of the property 
We have this glamorous pool sparkling. Uh, right now we have balustrades around it, but of course these can be removed. But overall, the big picture for this property is the view that you have. Can you please describe the location of the home and why you chose it? So the reason that we chose this location for this home, the property is quite high up in the estate. So um, the views of the Mechanisberg Mountains are yeah. very uh, prominent from this angle. Yeah. And um, it's west facing. Okay. So uh, sunsets, daily sunsets, and uh, so placing the entire sort of entertainment area and the main bedroom on this west side of the house. Mm was was the main focal point and then trying to get the rest of the house to be able to communicate with that portion of the house okay i think that was the main focus and allowing all the windows around the courtyard creates quite a bit more communication between um the the other portions of the house mm. apart from the west side so we are back on the main corridor overlooking the courtyard and this hallway basically takes us through to all of the bedrooms and studies in this house but the first one we're starting with is the main bedroom so as we walk into the main bedroom we enter through these custom-made oak double doors and on this side we have a coffee station with built-in cabinetry uh, below and then we have led lights as well and then this wooden slit on this side so as we move through the entrance hallway, we step into the main bathroom. The first thing you'll notice is we have the same marble throughout us again, beautiful built-in cupboards, and then we have this integrated tap that comes out of the mirror, and literally we have a massive mirror. As well, we have the same wooden floor finishing, basically cladding around the mirror. So moving into the space, we have this beautiful design wood paneling on this side we have a heated towel rack right here and then on this side we have a stunning freestanding bathtub walking into the shower we have the same marble finishes on the countertop there same marble below and then we have the handmade towels um, similar to the ones outside and then we have a double shower head and this is a really is big shower. Moving out of the main bathroom, we're entering into the outdoor bathroom. Uh, so basically on the side, we have a freestanding bathtub. We have lovely seating right here. I can just imagine just, you know, having a cup of tea, having a bath out here. And then we have an outdoor shower as well with hidden drainage below. And then of course we have a wraparound um, of the environment, no one can look into you, which is a lovely privacy feature. So stepping into the main bedroom, this is one of the most beautiful bedrooms I have ever seen. And the most lovely one actually. Uh, you have these beautiful sliding doors with a double volume, but I think this is the main attraction of this bedroom you have these amazing views of the west side you basically watch the sunset you have the rolling hills you literally can see some of your neighbors around and then of course you have the 14th hole on this side um, stepping onto this side of the main bedroom we have a fire pit so i can imagine you know the memories you can create here just relaxing in the evenings and you know looking at the sunset you mentioned the golf course can you tell me more about the estate itself um, the, the estate uh, has been around for uh, 20 or so years. Mm. Um, it, uh, it was originally Gary Player, um, the golfer Gary Player's oh, land, okay. um, or a portion of it was. Um, and he teamed up together with a developer and they acquired uh, a bunch more land and, and put, uh, um, put more into, into the golf course and it took him actually 20 years also oh, to yeah. to develop the golf course oh, itself okay. so the the brainchild that is blair athel yeah. as an estate has been around for for a long time with, oh. with gary player yeah. okay so stepping back into the main bedroom one of the most stunning bedrooms i have seen again you have the double volume ceilings with exposed beams you have this lovely modern custom-made uh, lighting 
uh, coming down below. You have a nice seating area. I can imagine you're just laying down, reading a book, watching the view. You know, it must be, you know, so amazing to stay here. And of course, you have the lovely wood paneling design. On the outside, you have the main bed with pedestals on both sides. What is your favorite part of this home and why? I would have to say in the main bedroom, there is a lofted area mm. um, that raises above the bed, um, above and behind the bed and over the uh, built-in cabinetry mm. um, of, of the main bedroom. That area was a dead area, actually. Oh, okay. um, we had a massive bulkhead that was just overbearing. Mm. Um, and it just seemed like such a waste of space. Yeah. So what we did was we actually um, took out the bulkhead, put more rafters, um, exposed rafters mm. in, the, in the roof, in the ceiling. Yes. And um, created a lofted area, which to me, come home from a long day of work, <laughs> I, could, I could see myself yeah, in being the, up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I saw it. It's, it's so cozy, man. Yeah, it's a really cozy area, yeah. high up. And uh, it's the highest point in the house, obviously, the rest of the house being um, ground level. Mm. Uh, it has the most incredible view as well of, yeah. of the west of the Michalisberg Mountains. Yeah. So moving on to this side, we have the main closet. So we have built-in closets all across this side. Just to give you an example, well, you know, we have the oak finishes, you know, well crafted. You can see the craftsmanship here is stunning. Continuing all across to this side, you know, you have drawers, everything on this side. Uh, and then of course you have this light railway um, above. Um, more closet space, literally there is plenty of covered space. And then on this side we have more of like a makeup area um, that I'm sure the la ladies would appreciate. And then I see that materiality is very important in this home. Uh, these different textures, these different stones and wood, yes. um, these different, you know, bras is, is quite a main feature. Yes. Can you talk us through those selections? So um, obviously texture being very important um, in, in this homestead, we've got a lot of shadow lines as well. Um, we've taken um, advantage of, of, of brass and oak, oak wood, um, you know, how they complement each other and how the shadow line has also complemented that look and feel, mm. um, especially going over into the main bedroom with the, the, the BIC with the built-in cabinetry and the walk-in robes. Uh, it's really, really come together so nicely, but it at no point feels cold. It yeah. still has a very warm yes. and, and homely feel. To yes, it, yeah. that's very important, man. Yeah. When we were going through this home, I saw, you know, things are modern, yes. but it's yeah. still livable, you know, yeah. that's, which it's is very important. Exactly. To, yeah. It's not clinical in any nature. Yeah. Um, it is, it's a very warm homestead. Perfect. So as we leave the main bedroom, one of the nicest parts of this house, we step back onto the hallway. We have the courtyard on this side and all of the rooms on this side are north facing. So you get that natural light coming in. So let's step into the second bedroom on this side. So as you come in, beautifully created on this side, you have a custom pallet, uh, paneled uh, closet. You have lovely furniture on this side, sliding door that opens up to the patio, but we'll get to that. And when you step into the bedroom, the bathroom, you have a lovely marble sink that is floating. You have a freestanding bathtub on that side, beautiful tiles on this side, heated towel rack, and then you have the shower on this side. So as you open this door, you're welcomed into a walking shower. Imagine having a shower like this every single day in summer. This is beautiful. And the views as well, we can look onto, you know, you can see the mountains from here, the lovely golf course. But moving on, we have the sliding door that opens up to this little patio on this side. Beautifully manicured garden on this side. You know, you can have seating area, whatever it is, have some coffee, tea here in the morning. But overall, it's very peaceful. You know, no one is looking into you. You have that north light again coming in. So let's check out the other bedrooms as well. So coming back onto the hallway, on this side we have a hallway study that is beautifully done uh, in the oak wood. Um, it is, you know, it is really nice, you know, the, the feel of it as well is just beautiful. Uh, on this side we have two bedrooms. Uh, on this side we have a smaller bedroom which is 
more or less identical to the other ones as well. It also opens up to the patio, lovely cabinetry on this side, and as well, a beautiful bathroom on that side. And then this bedroom on this side is basically identical to the one that we saw uh, on the other side. So same finishes, more or less, um, lovely spaces overall. So coming back onto the hallway, we have this beautiful piece of art. It hasn't been hanged in, you know, the buyer of this property will ultimately decide where they want to put it and that sort of thing. So when we continue, this door opens up to the pool pumps and basically this property has a Dedrick um, heating system. So basically you have water flowing under the property that keeps, you know, the house warm from underneath. And then as well, we have staff quarters on the outside as well. So continuing as well, we have sliding doors everywhere. Um, one nice thing about this property is this view. Literally you have a picture perfect view. You're basically looking at the courtyard. You have, you know, the living area on that side, the swimming pool. You can see the golf course, the lovely trees and literally the rolling mountains of Mahalisberg. This is basically just a lovely, lovely, lovely view. As well, another feature is we have the spiraling staircase on this side that leads to the top of the property. So if whoever decides to buy this property wants to have maybe a, a rooftop terrace, you know, that option is available up there as well. And I can imagine the views, you know, that you'll get up there as well. So coming onto this side of the property, we have another bedroom that could probably be used as a study or family room or you know just another bedroom for guests and stuff as well has lovely finishes lovely vanity shower so continuing with the tour on this side we have another piece of art on this side as well that hasn't been hanged uh, on this side we have a designated office area and opening up through these double doors on this side we have a Basically like a pajama lounge, a family room, it could be a cinema room, whatever you choose to do with it. There's so many rooms in this house, you could basically play around with everything and see what you want to do with it. As well, it looks out to the main road and as well, you have some lovely grass on this side as well. So it's a peaceful area. Nice thing about this house is it's very peaceful. You cannot hear anything. It's just overall a lovely, lovely place to stay. But overall, this is the wrap for the tour of the house. Please stick around and check out the night shots of this property. So we talked earlier about your journey in the construction industry oh. and honestly blew my mind. Oh. Um, please tell us how you went about uh, your business and came to this point where you're a contractor yourself. So it's an interesting question. I, um, I forced myself out of my nine to five and um, kind of took whatever I, I came across at the time. Mm. Um, I had a little bit of a plan where um, about a decade ago, uh, Drone photography and videography was just coming into play, mm. um, and and I, I took to that. And there was a lot of housing involved in that, um, so that was a lot of construction, and that sort of initially tickled my fancy. Mm. And um, after that, I started to become a bit of a serial entrepreneur. In that, I moved into Uber, and was looking at all sorts of side hustles, and um, I got a couple of Uber cars on the road. Um, made a bit of a success out of that, sold up cars, house, uh, our house, and um, built built a house. And in the process of building that house, I, I fell in love with the people involved mm -hmm. and um, the time. And and uh, I'm I'm quite an OCD person, yeah, yeah. so you'll find that there's not much out of place in this mm -hmm. in this house or any of my houses. Mm -hmm. um, I have um, a, a strong attention to detail. And building houses really scratches that. Yeah, really. yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, that was how I always found myself on on construction sites growing up. Yeah. You know, if I rode my bike past, that I could constantly I'd stop and end up just walking yeah, through and this see house. What's going like, on I want to see. I want to be there. I want to know. 
and it was, I was always drawn to construction for some reason. Mm -hmm. um, and the project management side of things and the fittings and fixtures, for me, that's the, that's the cherry on top. Yeah. Like, you know? Yeah. And I'm, I'm a man that loves shopping. Well, so. <laughs> I'll, I'll admit, yeah. me too. <laughs> but yeah. So I think it comes with the territory. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, and, and yeah, I love to problem solve. Um, and there's a lot of problem solving that goes yes. into, into yes. project management, into construction. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, no, I can attest to that. Uh, yeah. um, construction is quite unique. Yes. Uh, it's challenging on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, there's no one day that's the same as another day. Definitely. Um, and you fall in love with that process, man. Yes, and when you, sure. when you find yourself outside of the construction, you yeah. know, it's like, ugh, I'm bored. Yeah, you know? But exactly. yeah, no, look, it's a, it's a beautiful... So they say once the building bug has bitten, right? Yeah, yeah. I look, man, and then it's, it's game over <laughs> from then, yeah, you know. Yeah, man, but I think uh, listening to your story, um, anyone out there listening, look, man, you don't need to be coming from... Look, if, if if you really want to get into this industry and if you hustle, you can you know you can you can make it, man. Yes. Yeah. F the fact that you going from you know le leaving your nine to five, mm. uh, going into Uber, you know, trying photography and videography, mm. and now you're building beautiful mm. homes like this. You know, it just shows that anything is possible, man. Anything's possible. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's positive mindset. Yeah. Baby steps. Yeah. Big breath. <laughs> <laughs> Larger, you know. Yeah. But yeah. Okay, guys, if you've made it this far in the video, we want to say thank you. We really appreciate your viewership. And if you like these sort of videos, please definitely subscribe to our channel. Hit that like button. Leave some comments of what you think. You know, if you have some input, we appreciate. We read all of the comments. And uh, we want to give a big shout out to Sean from Prime Aerial Spec Homes for allowing us to tour his amazing development here. If any of you guys are interested in, this, in purchasing this property, feel free to contact us. Our details are down below. Follow us on Instagram, on this channel, and we'll definitely deliver more next time. Uh, so stick around, and until we see you guys on the next one, cheers.